This is an LED driver. This thing converts AC power from your electricity mains into DC power and this in turn powers your LED lights. This is the type of light that I am talking about. This is called an LED panel. And this is the connector where you normally connect your LED driver. Since the LED panel uses DC power, there is no way you can connect this connector backwards. It has to go a certain way. You can see the arrows at the top over there. You can see that this connector has one rounded end and the other straight end. So there is no way you can connect this connector the opposite side. I just bought this LED driver recently and that is because this other one is spoiled. I'm going to open this so that you can see the problem. This is a Chinese made LED driver and don't be shocked by the quality of what you will see inside here. That's all there is inside here. Now, this LED driver blew a while ago. You can see the suit over here. That's why I bought this other one over here. So this connector of my new LED driver cannot fit into this other connector. So I'm going to unsolder this connector, solder it to this LED driver and replace the input cables. These two flimsy cables will be replaced. Well, this one is a little bit more beefier than the other one. I think that's why it blew. So when you go to buy an LED driver, the shopkeeper will ask you for the wattage. This light is 18 watts. That's why I bought an 18 watts LED driver. This was exactly the same LED driver that I had before. This is also an 18 watt LED driver. 18 watts, 18 watts. And this is the final product. The pink one is for light and the blue one is for neutral. Not that this matters, but I know even if I interchange these two cables to the mains, the light will still work. So these two plugs will fit perfectly over here. Now what's left is to arrange this inside here. like that and I'm going to use some hot glue so that this cannot move around while inside here now everything has been fitted inside there using some hot glue and the only thing left is testing this light so we have power over here and this is the neutral I just tried to test this gadget and it didn't work. So what I'm going to do now is test the output voltage. I can get 79. I can get around 80 volts output. So this means the LED driver is working. So the only thing left is to check the LED lights inside here. Let's do that. To make a long story short, I did not achieve my goals. The light did not work. I also tried to repair the original LED driver. That also did not work. I also tried to test every single LED inside this light. I don't have a lot of time and so I will do a part 2 
follow-up video about this light and eventually I know this light will work. Now, the next series of videos you will see on my channel will be about this smartphone. This is the Infinix 08. As usual, you will see some unboxing videos as well as some screen recording and some gaming videos. So thank you for watching and bye.